Hello, everyone. This is Roberto Matthews from New Orleans, Louisiana. And I just wanted to show you the product of that uh, soil that I had um, picked up off the sidewalk two days, maybe three days ago. And uh, I wanted to show you uh, how I basically prosper from that. Like I said, I like to recycle things. So I've been using this same little seed tray for about, I want to say, five years now. You know, at the end of a season, I wash it and then I go ahead and, you know, save it. I have maybe two or three. That way I could have one for the summer and one for the spring and maybe one for experiments. So I wanted to show you what I have now and also how I water this. A few ideas just to spread the love, just like uh, Mr. Larry over here. So as you can see, I clip these down so that the wind doesn't take it away because even though we have high humidity here, we also have high winds. So uh, as you can see, I've got a couple of situations here. The first thing is that I have this fuzz growing here somewhere on, on my lima beans. So um, I'm not sure if that's gonna grow. And then right here I have uh, some onions growing, but here I have some lettuce growing. And as you can see, the lettuce is already starting to peak up here um, and it, it doing really well. This is a surprise for me because I've never had it sprout in only one day. And believe you me when I say one day, it, it was one day ago that I put the seeds in and actually two days ago that I put the seeds in and then yesterday I started seeing the sprouts coming up. So this is how I usually water. I wanted to show you that uh, I use a little uh, spray bottle here and I, a little, I pump it up and that way I can basically travel around and put the amount of water out of this nozzle that I want. I can either use a, a jet stream when I'm cleaning it or I can use the shower stream or the shower spray when I'm watering like I'm about to do right now. So <clears throat> to transform my water all I do is, oh, that's a little bit too much. Okay, this is a little bit better and basically this is how I regulate the water that I have this is just a regular gallon and it lasts me a good while for these seedlings because I'm not just wasting water and then I can transport my water um, anywhere in my garden using the same method um, especially for my seedlings that doesn't that don't need to be watered directly here so just showing you what I can do let me give you a, a little closer view here so as you can see they're coming up nice and beautiful let me get this a little bit like this. There we go. And you can see the lettuce sprouts coming up. As soon as they get a little bit greener, then I'll be separating them out a little bit. And as you can see, I even save my seeds. I don't really um, put two or three seeds per, unless if I can help it. But sometimes these seeds are just so small that I, you know, I can't help but put three together. So I'll be separating those out and trying to um, put them in their own separate. Uh, cube there okay thank you very much for your time I did want to add one piece of information as to why I do it outside rather than inside first of all I don't have much space inside and my wife really won't let me um, bring my gardening inside that much but nonetheless um, as you can see I'm in the carport here and uh, they don't get direct Sun but I found that um, doing my seeds outside like this um, cuts down on having to harden them off harden yeah harden them off because um, since they're already kind of exposed to direct sun, um, indirect sunlight since they're still getting you know the outside environment rather than UV lights or anything like that transporting them from for, for say here to here and then later out there in partial shade um, is really simple and I don't have to worry about um, bringing them out for an hour at a time and things like that. 
So just some ideas that I'm bouncing off you guys. Thank you very much.